friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Ditly Has Plans. In today's video, we are planning the week of August 23rd through the 29th in my plum paper seven by nine hourly. So let's get started. Alrighty friends, so this week we are planning with an orange umbrella co kit. It's called Poppy Flowers. I have here the full boxes. Aren't those pretty? I thought this was a great kit to kind of use for that last week of summer. I mean, the last week of August, right? I've got boxes here. I've got the washi here. So cute. I love this ombre effect one here. So that's sweet. And then I have date headers. I have pretty much kind of like a little sampler with some boxes, some scripts, a couple of little icons here. And then I have appointment labels, which I've started pre-filling out. Okay, so I, it was funny because I was doing the pre-planning and I realized, oh my gosh, this is the last week of August because the next week there's more days that fall into September. So I will plan that in my September monthly section. So yeah, I can't believe that. I also have a couple of pieces of thin washi that I pulled that I might bring in. My time stickers that I use from Phoenix Plans. I've pre-planned those on my event labels here, you can see. And then I remembered to pull my habits script. And then I'm gonna use all of these little to-dos here. These are from Fern Creek stickers. So just some additional things. I've got my clean color dot in this rosy kind of pink color. I tend to use this one a lot, <laughs> I realize, because I do a lot of pinks. And then this Tombow color 192, this brush pen. So I'll probably be using that to highlight my walking area. So I'm just gonna dive right in and start with the top, like I usually do. We're gonna put down some washi and the date headers. So today is Sunday, August 22nd when I'm filming this. Think I'm just gonna let that dark teal kind of shadow through a little bit. It's not that bad. I'm actually going to take this little, this bookmark is an Erin Condren bookmark. I use this to bookmark where my monthly spread is because on the plum papers, the monthly tab goes to the highlights page. It doesn't go to the month and I like to be able to flip right to the month. So that's why I have that little bookmark in there. So we're just going to get this down. And then, oh, these are individuals, so I have to try to line these up. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, those will fit right there. So I just came home from a baby shower breakfast for my girlfriend, Michelle, at work. She is expecting her second daughter. Her girls will be just over two years apart. So kind of similar, my, my girls are just under two years apart. So I was like, oh, you're gonna have two girls just like I do. They're gonna be close in age. So I'm excited for her. She's so sweet. She was one of the nicest people to me when I first started with the organization. She really kind of showed me kind of what was going on and how things worked there. You know how you always kind of got to figure things out, like even just figuring out, okay, how do I get mail sent from the mail room? <laughs> you know, those kinds of things. And, Michelle is just so awesome and helping me out. And she's just been a great partner. A lot of my meetings that I do are for her department because she's the vice president of governance. And so we work very closely together and I'm just thrilled. Her little, her two-year-old is just the most darling little girl. And it's been fun watching Michelle blossom into a mom and you know going through her first pregnancy and now her second pregnancy it's been kind of hard because I feel like my other girlfriend who went to the breakfast this morning we were saying god I can't believe this baby's coming so fast and I kind of feel like it might be because of COVID since none of us were working in the office regularly really uh we just kind of didn't grow with her through this pregnancy you know it was like she let us know she was pregnant and the next thing we know this baby's coming okay that's sweet I like the way that turned out Okay, so now I think I've got a couple of things. I'm gonna highlight with this green. So I'm not sure if I wanna do blue. I really like this blue because it kind of ties in with the blues in the kit. Or do I wanna 
do some pink. Let's see. I'm going to lay this one here just to see. And then this is going to be green. I kind of feel like I'm going to use the pink, friends. I don't know. Oh, I wish you guys, I should, we should do these live, right? So you guys can answer back. No, Christy, don't do that one. Do the other one. I'm going to give this a shot and let's, you know what? If it doesn't work out, this is just washing. I can just peel it right back up and we can put down the other one, right? Like washi isn't permanent, at least not this washi. The pen will be permanent once I get that down, but the washi we can always... Am I going to be able to tear that? Oh, I think I need to cut that. Sometimes when the little ends are so small, you can't grab it really well. So let me, there we go. That's better. Okay. Well, I like how that looks so far. I like that pink. Got that little end there. All right, let's put the green down and we'll see what that looks like. I like this green. Oh, I think I really like the green with the pink. So yeah, it was fun. We were talking baby names and whether or not she was going to move her older daughter to another room and give the baby the baby room or just, you know, just how, how do you rearrange your house, you know, around new baby and all of that. It was really fun. And then, so that was with members of her family, like her sister and her mom and her sister-in-law, which was really nice. And then um, this Friday on the 27th, oops, I'm really crooked there. We're going to do a work luncheon. So we did like the full baby shower and all that stuff when her first baby, when she was expecting her first baby. But she said with the second one, she's like, because I had asked her, I was like, do you want to do an office thing? Or, you know, what do you want to do? And of course, we're still kind of in COVID mode. So she was like, let's just do something small. It was cute. She said, we'll just do a sprinkle, not a shower. <laughs> I know that was so cute. So I planned a luncheon for her on Friday and just as coworkers will be going and kept it to a relatively smallish group, just kind of like her core team. And then she'll be going off on her leave soon after that. Okay. Oh, I like that. I think, I think that looks good. Okay. So now Let's go ahead and we will highlight the week we're in, which is this last week here, right? And then the Sunday, and then I'll do my habits, which I know there is a little flag I wanted to use. Yeah, and then I'll put my habits on there. So that's how my Sunday has started out. I'm filming now. I think I'm gonna go this lighter pink is what I wanted to do. Filming now because this evening we're going to do Sophie's birthday dinner with her friends. So we did a family dinner, just the four of us, during the week. And then she has a small group of friends that we're going to take out to dinner tonight. I have to go pick up her cake after I film this. I'll just do four. Okay, and then for my bottom corner here... I had decided I really want to do this poppy and I'm going to frame it with this one here. I love this little washi here. So unfortunately, Scott's not home to join us, which is why I'm so glad that we did her dinner, our family dinner. We were originally going to do it on Wednesday, the 18th, which is her actual birthday. But uh, my husband was activated on short notice, so he ended up flying out. But thankfully, we knew, we found out on Sunday, and uh, he changed the dinner reservation we had for Wednesday to Tuesday because we knew he would be home at least Tuesday. So uh, my girls are really used to that with dad, and, and so it was no problem for Sophie. She understands, and uh, we changed her our dinner plans, and so we all got to have dinner together, and then my husband left the next day, and then I will just take the girls on my own tonight for dinner. But it'll be just a nice little tight group of her friends. We're still keeping things small, you know, just to keep everybody comfortable with COVID and all of that, so that'll be fun. We're looking forward to that. Okay, I love how this is shaping out, friends.
It's looking good. Okay, so now I'm going to do my habits. And I think what I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to carry on with the green this time. And so I have my little Erin Condren template here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in, because I don't want it to get too, too pink on me. Although, when do you ever have too much pink in my world? It's so funny because I, I do love blue. Like navy blue actually is my favorite color. I don't know if you can see my arms, but I do have a navy blue and white blouse on. <laughs> but um, I do love pink. <laughs> blue and pink. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this up and then we'll come right back. Okay, so that is the base of my habits. And then I'm going to put this on a flag as well. I think what I'll do is we'll use, oh, you know what? Maybe we'll do something a little different and we'll do this little flag. Let's see, is that too big? I think I can make that fit. That'll work. We'll do that pink with this just kind of overlaid right there. And then I've been using this Villa Beautiful pen here we go, sorry I keep flipping it around. Because I realized I had switched out all of my Villa Beautiful pens to blue, except for this one. So since I'm doing black ink for the month of August, I was like, this is perfect. I think once I start my kind of health journal, health and wellness journal, I might be moving my vitamins and water tracking out to that journal, just so that kind of stuff is all together. And then let's see, I don't think there's a doggy paw in here. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I have a doggy paw, I bet I do. Okay, so I found this little sheet from a Planner Kate kit. I kind of started buying some of these little sheets and I'm gonna put that little pink one right there. This was from kit 244. I don't even think I have the full kit. I think I just bought the little icon sheet from it. Okay, so that is my sidebar. So now I'm gonna come back here and do sort of my faux priorities here. Um, this little bit sticking here is gonna bug me until I get that off. I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna do the little dots with my clean color dot. I think I'm just going to put these to do's I don't know that I'm going to I think I'm just gonna I can lay them just right on top here or what I was thinking of doing was this is let's see what this looks like if I just do a line of color just to kind of give it something to lay on top of I feel like when I put it I put a white sticker on white like it gets lost. I feel like there has to be something. Unfortunately, these dot pens, they're not like, you know, meant to fill in a bunch of cut, like it's not like a brush pen. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put a line here. It kind of matches this washi, just to sort of break it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna put all of these to-dos down. It's hard because I probably would have been better to do it with like a highlighter maybe. But then they wouldn't match my dots and you know that will bother me if my colors don't match. I'm gonna have to get another sheet of these to-dos. I like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna put down, I think I do four. So I'm gonna try to get these lined up. I'm getting a little bit better at this. Okay, so there's all of my to-dos and then I wanna put some washi down. And I really like this one. I feel like this was the main sort of signature washi of the kit. So I'm gonna put this down here. Around. 
So last week was a big week for work because we, our board voted, I was preparing for my biggest meeting of the year, which is every October. We were preparing for it to be in person, but because of the direction that the Delta variant has taken, uh, we were advised that we probably shouldn't. And so our board voted whether or not to move forward because there aren't, there aren't any government orders that make it illegal or impossible for us to have the meeting in person. It was just sort of on the advisement that we shouldn't. And so our board took that to heart and voted to convert the meeting to virtual. So now I have basically two months to take an in-person, what was going to be an in-person meeting and produce a virtual show. So we will be quick turning that. Oh, I like this. I think this is turning out pretty good, friends. I like it. Okay, so what do I wanna do on the bottom here? So that's gonna be kind of tricky. So I've got, I could go wide again and use up this wide washi, let's see. I could do this, which is cute, or I could do this one, which is a little bit thinner. This one, oh, this just fits perfectly in the gray. I kind of like, I kind of like this polka dot in contrast to the poppy. I think I kind of like the thinner one this time, friends. I think I'm gonna go with that. I've been doing the wide, which has been fun, and I'm so excited that I've been using the wide, and then now my next decision is whether or not I feel like I need to white this out at all. It just makes the blue a little darker, so I kind of feel okay with leaving that gray in there. It just kind of makes the, the pale blue show up a little bit more. So I think I'm gonna leave that. Okay, so that's that side, and then let's do. So yeah, that was kind of, that was a big hit. Just, you know, I'm an in-person conference planner, right? Like most of my meetings have always been in person. And so it's been definitely an emotional shift, right? To not only learn something new, which has been fun, don't get me wrong. I mean, learning how to do virtual meetings and produce virtual shows is really kind of the catalyst to what got me starting my my YouTube channel, right? Because I just kind of got into this filming and producing kind of stuff. And so that has been really like a silver lining out of all of this, but it is still really hard. I mean, it's what I do. I bring people together. And so not being able to do that has been kind of hard. Okay, so I pulled a couple little utensil icons here to put for my meals. Again, thinking about my health and wellness journal, I might be moving this out of my planner. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Okay, so now let's start putting in some of my meetings and appointments. So we've got our 1130, my Nepo, and then let's see, on Tuesday we have back to school night, which was rescheduled from the previous week. So it was canceled last week because the smoke was really bad. And so they um, rescheduled it to this week. They actually told the girls that if they wanted to go home, they could just because the smoke was so bad. And then, oh, I need to pull a staff meeting sticker. I'm going to put this right up here. And then I have my House of Delegates. So yeah, we are still going to have weekly meetings for our House of Delegates, it's just going to be planning for the virtual now. Okay, and then I have a four o'clock, which I'll put down here. This kid is really sweet, I like this. And then I am having breakfast with my friend that works for Visit LA. I'm not sure yet, we didn't confirm yet what time we wanna to get together, but I wanna make sure I put that and then as I mentioned, we're doing a little luncheon for Michelle on Friday at noon. So there's that. And then let me pull my staff meeting. So I'm gonna use this one from Ever Changing Plans. And I think I'm gonna pull in maybe this dusty pinkish color since it's going on a blue sticker. So we'll put that there. 
So yeah, having to shift gears on that big meeting is definitely going to be a challenge, but thankfully I had already communicated with a local venue so I can rent out space and get a studio built. And then let's see, do I have a payday coming up? 31 notes, not until the following week. And then we know we have trash day. This is cute. I love the little trash day. I'm going to put that here. And then what else? That's cute. The little to do to go to buy this week. Oh, I just realized friends, I put a habit sticker here. <gasps> Did you guys see that? And you're like, Christy, no, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to put that back. That's so funny. Good thing I was going through my scripts one last time. There we go. Much better. <laughs> oh my God. I always do goofy things like that. Okay. So I have a bunch of these asterisks. I have a bunch of little dots here, a bunch of stickers left over. Cause I think this is the base of my week. We are actually, you know what I think about it? We're going out of town this weekend, so we are gonna head up. Well, okay, I told you Scott was gone. All plans are soft until we actually see the whites of his eyes. So I'm gonna put it in here and hope that I'm not jinxing us, but we are supposed to be going to Monterey because we want to take the girls to some colleges over in the Coastal Bay area. And so we're supposed to be going and I'm just going to put that. Oh, wait, that's Saturday. We're going to leave Friday night. There's that. And then we will go through the weekend. I'm not going to put anything else down because we don't know. I'm not putting down. He's supposed to come home on this Tuesday. I'm not going to put that down because I feel like it will jinx me and the plane will break and they won't come home <laughs> or something like that. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. And I think this is it. Alrighty, friends. I like how this turned out. The pinks and the greens are really pretty. I love the little poppy flower. And I've got enough white space to fill in anything that happens or pops up while we're getting ourselves through the week. But I've got lots of boxes here. I've got more scripts and more boxes here. Some more appointment labels. I save these dates couple more pieces of washi if I needed it and lots of boxes, full boxes, real pretty ones that I'll fill in with if nothing fills in during the week. So I think that's it for this video, friends. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.